Dear students, we have completed the portion. Now we'll go for the numericals. So there is a chance of asking some numerical problems from this chapter. Okay. The major one is about the percentage error, then about the significant figure. So these are the more possibility of getting a numerical from this chapter. Okay, we will see the first problem. It is about error. So the error involved in the measurement of a side and mass of the cube are 3 percentage and 4 percentage respectively. What is the maximum percentage error in the density of the material? See here, you have given the sides and the mass, okay, have got the um, percentage error is of the ratio 4 percentage to 3 percentage. Now, we are asked to find out what will be the percentage error in the density. So, you know the formula, right? What is the formula for density? It is nothing but rho is equal to mass by volume. So, you know what is volume? Volume is nothing but length into breadth into height. So, as it is a cube, what you can do? We can take all the sides same. So, let me take this L cube. So, volume is nothing but L cube. Okay. So, how to find out the percentage error in the density? So, we have studied the percentage error in the final answer will be the sum of percentage error in the two initial values. Okay. So, error in the final value will be the sum of two initial values. Now, we are given with the values. We can write delta rho by rho that is equal to delta m by m into 100. Now, see this. This is the percentage error about the mass value. Okay. Then, 3 into delta L by L into 100. Now, look at this part. This is about the percentage error about the length. Okay. Or a side we can say. Now, what we have the values? Do we have these values? See here in the question. Side is given. That is 3 percentage. Then, mass is given. It is 4 percentage. So, you can directly write the percentage error related to the mass. It is 4 percentage. Then, multiplied by 3 with the percentage error in the side. So, we can write it as 3 percentage multiplied by 3. Now, what do you get? Do the normal calculation. You will get 4 plus 9. That is nothing but 13 percentage. Now, the percentage error in the final answer or the density what we need to find out will be equal to 13 percentage. So, we will write delta rho by rho into 100 that is nothing but 13 percentage. Okay. So, see the problem carefully. It is very simple. You just need to multiply add the percentage error and here as it is a cube we are taking volume we need to multiply the uh, side by 3. Okay. We will move on to the next problem. Here length and breadth of breadth of a field are given. So, length is nothing but 22.4 centimeter and uh, breadth is nothing but 15.8 centimeter. Okay. Now, it is measured to be accu uh, to an accuracy of 0.2 centimeter. See, both the values length and breadth are measured to be to an accuracy of 0.2 centimeter. You are asked to find out the percentage error in the area of the field. See, you can find it out. It is very easy, right? What is area? It is nothing but length into breadth. See, this formula we will substitute. Area is equal to length into breadth. Now, how do we write the percentage error in the area? Just see there what we need to write. We have to multiply relative error by 100, right? So, see here, I have written it as delta A by A into 100, okay? So, this is nothing but percentage error in the area. And what is that actually? It is a sum of percentage error in the side, uh, that is length and the breadth, correct, right? So, how to write the percentage error in the side? We can write delta L by L multiply by 100, see this? Remember, right? This is relative error multiplied by 100 will give you percentage error. So, this is the percentage error in the length and this is the percentage error in the breadth. 
Now, are we given the value? No, right? We are not given directly. We have to calculate it. How to calculate? So, delta L is given. What is that? It is an error with respect to the length. That is nothing but 0.2 centimeter. What is the value of length? It is nothing but 22.4 centimeter. So, we are taking the ratio. Okay? Multiplied by 100. Again, what is the error with the breadth? It is also given that it is 0.2 centimeter. Then what is the value of bread? We have here it is 15.8 centimeter. Again, so this ratio is multiplied by 100 will give you percentage error with respect to the breadth. Here this value will give you percentage error with respect to the length. Now do the calculation. You will get it as 0.89 percentage plus 1.27 percentage. So, just add those values. What you are going to get here? You are going to get 2.16. So, this is nothing but delta A by A into 100. So, the problem is very similar to the first problem. Okay. So, you can easily understand it. Just try to do the first problem. Then, without taking the notes, you just do the second problem. Okay. Now we will solve some significant figures. See, you have already studied this one in chemistry also. So let me tell you some, you should remember the rules. So before going to numericals, you have to be thorough with the theory part. So uh, study all the rules related to the significant figures. Okay. I will give you some examples so that you can just understand how to find out the significant figure. Okay. I will take the value first one, 0 0.006 meter cube. Okay. It is a volume. 0 0.006 meter cube. How many significant figures are possible? See, just remember all the rules. Okay. So, here totally three digits are present, but these two zeros are not considered. Okay. So, how many significant figures possible? We have only one significant figure. So, if you have any confusion, just go back and check the rules. Next one, 1.2.56 into 10 to the power 3 kg. Okay, so this can be written as, how do we write this? 2560 kg. So, how many significant figures are possible? Again, see here, it is a 4 digit number, but this 0 is not considered. Again, check the rule. So, 3 significant figures are possible. Next one, it is 0.2309. See, it is a four digit number, right? So, it is not a four digit number, it is actually a point. After point, you have four digits. So, this zero, which is in between two non zero, will be considered. So, how many significant figures possible? Totally four significant figures are possible. Okay. Again, if you have confusion, check the rules. Next one 6.320. 6.320 here you have four significant figures see you can have four significant figures because this zero is considered here it is similar to the first one how many significant figures possible three significant figures possible okay just try to do with the some more values of your own values okay then practice that we will move on to the next problem. It is also related to the percentage error only. It is actually solved problem from your textbook, but still we can just have an idea. Okay. So, resistance R is given that is V by R, uh, V by I. We know this one, right? You must have studied the current electricity chapter, maybe from your 10th standard. So, the values are given for V and I. So, one thing you need to note that there is a small error along with the value. See, V will be 100 plus or minus 5. So, this is the error and in the I, 10 plus or minus 0.2. So, 0.2 is the error. Okay. Now, we have to find out what is the percentage error in R. So, you know that this term is like V by I. So, we have seen if it is an addition, subtraction, division or anything. Okay. So, the error in the final answer will be always the sum of two errors or maybe more than that errors in the individual 
values okay now we will see here we can write r is equal to v by i now let me take this one first one so what do we write here we can find out the relative error delta v by v that is nothing but 5 by 100 that is nothing but 0 0.05 here if you want you can write the unit also delta i by i that is equal to 0 0.2 divided by 10 see 0 0.2 divided by 10 you get 0 0.02 now see here coming to the other side percentage error can be calculated you already know the formula delta r by r into 100 that is a percentage error in the final answer that is nothing but it is sum of percentage error in the two individual values so no problem if the value is like uh, dividing or multiplying addition or whatever final answer will be always sum okay delta v by v into 100 delta i by i into 100 now we have this one right delta v by v and delta i by i we will just substitute multiply it by 100 we will get here 5 percentage in v and 2 percentage in i so the final answer error in the r value that is percentage error in the r value will be 7 percentage okay just check these values properly we will go to the next one error in the radius of the sphere is given okay three percentage now find the percentage error in the volume of the sphere so you know right sphere okay so uh, error in the radius is given now you have to find out the volume you have the formula 4 by 3 pi r cube okay so error in the final answer delta v by v into 100 that is percentage error it will be see here i have told when a number is rise to the power like see a to the power k what will be the error it is it is k into delta a by a into 100 see this is the possibility right so this value k will come to the numerator term okay now what do we write this value is a constant so we don't need to do with this one 4 by 3 pi is a constant we can just deal with this one because it is a constant it won't have any error right so r has got some 3 percentage error so what we do here we will write 3 into delta r by r so this may be capital or small if you have any confusion i'll write it capital r. okay r can be capital or small no no issue with that so delta r by r into 100 now what is this one it is already given right it is 3 percentage now multiply it by 3 what do you get then it is 9 percentage so if there is an error of 3 percentage in the radius so in the volume you will have error of 9 percentage okay next problem see here sixth one so a value is given it is related to the significant figure okay so how do we do this 5.74 gram of substance occupies 1.2 centimeter cube volume express the density keeping significant figures in view now there is a slight condition what you need to follow here so whichever value either mass or uh, volume which has got significant figure with the num uh, quantity having least significant figure should be considered and the final answer should have least significant figures from the values okay we will see that density can be written as mass by volume correct right mass is given 5.74 then volume is given 1.2 the final answer while doing this calculation you can see that value will be 4.783 okay 4.783 now see there are three significant figures in mass correct right you can see this one 5.74 all non-zero so three significant figures what about volume volume 1.2 only two significant figures right so density should be expressed as two significant figures so density should be expressed as two significant figures so how do we round figure that number so you know right round figuring 
we have learned it right round figuring the number you have some conditions three conditions we discussed correct right so now look at the value it is 4.783 now to how many digit we have to round figure it just for two digit correct right so what is the value after the after seven it is eight correct right so when the value is eight what should happen to the previous number previous digit we have to raise it by one right correct so when it is more than five then what happens you will get the answer 4.8 so don't need to have any confusion if you have any confusion just check the round figuring of significant figures okay so similar type one more problem we will solve each side of the cube is measured to be 7.203 meter what are the total surface and the volume of the cube appropriate uh, it has to be appropriated to the significant figures so we have to check the significant figure in the volume and the surface area correct right so what is the value given in the side so how many significant figures are there side it is given that 7.203 look at this one there are four significant figures now whatever value we find uh, surface area and the volume has to be round figure to the four significant figures now we will do the calculation surface area is nothing but 6a square so a is known right side so 6 into a square you will get the value 3 one one that is 311.299254 so this much number we have taken all the numbers almost numbers it has to be round figure to how many significant figures four significant figure so do it by yourself just to check this one see our number after uh, two is nothing but nine so what happens this number okay the preceding number will be raised by one so what do you get 311.3 meter square it is surface area of the cube see here only thing what is important is the final answer should be round figure to four significant figures because one side is given in terms of four significant figures similarly we will check the volume of the cube it is l cube just cube the value okay so you have to multiply it three times whatever answer you are getting is 373.7147540 see it has to be round figure to four significant figures right what happens look at this value it is 7 after that it is 1 so it is just dropped now you have the answer 373.7 meter cube okay